Hello there, you magnificent creature. How are you doing me? Well, I'm doing all right. I'm back in Los Angeles after a month of traveling, and I want to talk about something today, which is kind of twofold. One is about finding your passion, and the other part is about giving up. I get in these little ruts, I think we all do creatively, where I just can't come up with something. I have a lot of ideas, but I don't know which one is the one that I want to pursue, which one I'm passionate about. So it's a little bit fortuitous that this kind of came up. Recently, Disney and Pixar reached out and asked if I wanted to make a video about Finding Dory. I kind of had that problem where I couldn't really think of a specific topic that I was super excited about to talk about. They gave me an opportunity to do something, which is that I, I could speak to a lot of the people who made the movie. And that was something that was really interesting to me, that I could actually speak with the people who made this movie that I really enjoyed, that I respected, and I could actually speak to them and ask them questions, especially when I was feeling like this, because I was hoping that maybe they would give me some words of wisdom that would motivate me, that would make me want to make things, because I haven't made a video on Vsauce 3 in over a month. I asked them some questions with the intention of, of finding out why we find things, of finding out why we keep pushing ourselves, of finding out why we keep trying. What's the reason? When it came to giving up, I would ask them, were there times when you thought about giving up and doing something else? Oh, that's a daily thing. <laughs> <laughs> Seven times a day I want to give up. Yeah, I mean, for a long time, I didn't pursue my love and because I thought it was going to be too hard and too difficult. When I am down, I, I try to remember what it is that initially brought me into this, you know, why it is I like what I do. And the responses were interesting to me because it's things that I consider all the time, that you, you push through these things because you hopefully can keep creating something. It's what you're just meant to do and it's difficult. And being creative, I think, is, is, is very lonely a lot of times. It's a lot of time just spent in here. And when you get stuck in here, you kind of lose perspective. And you start thinking, what is my purpose for doing this? What am I trying to accomplish? What am I trying to find? What is my goal? That is a deep question. I think everybody wants to feel that they're contributing in some way their individual footprint or thumbprint, whatever you want to use the metaphor, uh, and that they matter. It's making a difference in the world one way or the other. Uh, for me, it's making films that will entertain and touch people. And it sounds so weird because we put so much emphasis on these things that we create, on this entertainment that we make. You know, actually there was a, Steve said something really interesting that I really, really relate to, which was, you want to communicate on an emotional level, visually, everything you need to feel to make you feel that and feel immersed so that you forget about life for a while and, and fall into this other world. And I really believe that. I really think that that's why I create and the way that I want to tell stories, where you have just with images, some kind of emotional transcendence, some kind of story that's told and that feels important. Um, or as Lindsay said, to have an impact, to leave, yeah. To, 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 yeah, to have an impact, to make a difference. Not a, not a, and it, that that can mean any number of things. But I, I just to make something. I don't. know, It was really therapeutic to hear these people who I look up to, who make things that are seen by hundreds of millions of people, and that become pop culture, like Finding Nemo and Finding Dory have become a part of the zeitgeist, of the cultural zeitgeist. And that's incredible that they get to be a part of that. They get to define the childhood of viewers. So it brings me back to what I've been thinking about a lot, which is motivation and giving up and trying to find that is difficult. There's so many videos that you don't see that I have filmed and have never released. There's about three private videos just on this channel alone that I've uploaded and decided at the last minute not to actually release. And what is that What is that process? What is that thing that keeps me from just hitting public? I don't really know. I guess it's a lot of me being self-conscious. It brings back up this thing that I mention a lot, which is how I'm never satisfied with anything that I do. I think everything that I have made is not that great. At the time, it was. But then you move on, then you grow, and you continue to make things that are better. But is it endless? Will that ever stop? Will I ever hit the point where I go, yes, that was amazing, good job, me, and then I sit down and do whatever it is people do, read a leather-bound book and watch Frasier. I don't know. So I asked that as well. I asked if they're still searching, if they're still trying to find something. I'm, I mean, I, I'm always, I, that's what I like about my job. I'm always searching, I'm always trying to improve and get better. I, I mean, I, I've, I've never attained my, uh, my goals because my goals keep on stretching out further and further. 
Uh, but I love the journey and I think that without appreciating the journey you would always be dissatisfied with whether or not you're able to attain your goals. Because that is what we try and do. We try and do better than what we did before. Not that what we did before wasn't good, but it wasn't good enough for us. It wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't that piece that will hopefully make an impact, that'll make people feel something, that'll make them inspired to go do their own creative projects. I love those little bursts of inspiration. So hopefully this is what that was for you. Speaking with these incredibly talented people was incredible for me. I have to thank Disney and Pixar for one, allowing me to speak to these geniuses and also for sponsoring this episode. So quick little side note, when I was a young lad, I really wanted to go to CalArts, which was a school that was uh, created by Disney to form animators that then would work at Disney. And I applied to CalArts and it was the only college I didn't get into. I was waitlisted, but I really wanted to go there because I really wanted to work for Disney. My dream was always to be an animator at Pixar. I really love 3D animation and I used to do 3D animation in uh, middle school and high school. So anyway, it's just really cool that I got to work with them in some capacity. And yes, with that said, there's a link to Finding Dory in the description. It really is a beautiful film if you haven't seen it. Okay, rambling now. Thank you for watching and remember, it's not goodbye, oh no. It's never goodbye, it's... Huh.